If you wanted to save the world, you couldn't pick a better place to start than with energy. We've all seen office buildings at night, you drive past them, the building's completely empty, but all the lights are on. Buildings consume about 70% of the world's electricity, for about one third of the world's energy, and they're doing that very inefficiently. You've got air conditioning systems, lighting, water, wastewater, heating, boilers, chillers. Each of these building systems is managed separately, if it's managed at all. To try to change this, an alliance between the University of California at Berkeley and Singapore's National Research Foundation, working with two leading Singaporean universities and several public agencies, have created a building inside a building where they can control and monitor with precision all of the various factors to create new control schemes and best practices. It's taking this research further than any other organization. It's a very well-funded program that involves a couple of dozen faculty from Berkeley and from institutions in Singapore. Their work on fault detection, smarter maintenance, and energy efficiency, it's going to change the world. In an academic environment, it is very difficult to share data among researchers. So that led us, of course, to the easy conclusion that we need an industrial strength database. That will be the central element of what we do. It was a natural to, to, to build uh, our architecture around Pi. The data somehow have to go from the physical world into the database, bridging that gap from the sensors from various vendors, connecting them and ultimately feeding them into Pi. And I bridges that gap very nicely. Okay, and not only bridges this gap, but also provides a layer of control and visualization that is very important. I can see the probability of reducing energy consumption by a large factor. We have shown how to cut it in half without sacrificing any of the basic. Building, building performance. And that's, I think, it's huge.